friends and welcome back to another video and today we are just going to be doing a look with the Bridgerton um, Diamond of the First Water Palette. So if that is something that interests you, um, just keep on watching. And I did just want to kind of show what the palette looks like. We've just got these really pretty six shades in it and it does have one of Pat's um, Special Formula Blitz Astral Shades and it's just this really pretty blue sparkly color. I definitely want to do have that like be the main focus of the eye look like a centerpiece <laughs> essentially but this is just so pretty. I'm so glad that I picked it up during the Sephora sale and I did just want to say anyone that left me nice comments on my last video saying that they missed my videos that just made my day so thank you and I think what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go into this um, lighter pink shade and just do that in the crease. And I'm just gonna go into this pink shade. And just kind of get that in the crease. And I hope all of you had a really nice Easter. I had a really nice Easter with my family as well. Um, and I'm just kind of building up this pink shade because while it is pigmented, it's kind of one of those shades where you do have to build it up to get the full opacity of it. Um, and I'm just for right now, just keeping the lid completely bare. I really just want like a really pink crease. So what I'm going to do is just go into the darker pink color to just, and kind of focusing that more on the outer corner, but just kind of go in and And what I'm going to do is kind of use this blending brush. Um, this is from the Wet n Wild um, brushes that came out semi-recently. I used some of my po Ulta points to just get a couple new brushes and some new sponges. Um, and these are, um, I haven't used it yet, but it's a really nice like fluffy brush. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray this brush and I'm just going to kind of lightly go into this pink shade and I'm just going to kind of lightly put this all over the lid. Holy, this eyeshadow is like so sparkly and amazing. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with another like flat brush and we're going to go ahead and put that sparkly blue shade all over the lid. And you could use this just on its own all over the lid, but I find with Pat McGrath's Blitz Astral Shades, it's better to kind of just use them as a topper or on top of something. 
and I am kind of building it up because I really do want it to be mostly like the a lot of the sparkle showing through and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go into with like a more dense brush and yeah this tart one will do um it's just like it's like more focused I'm just gonna put this on the outer corner And I'm not putting a lot of it because I mainly, and I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of go in and blend that darker shade out. And for the inner corner, I am just going to go in with this brush and it's just a Sigma flat top brush and I'm going to go in with the lightest shade in the palette and I'm just going to go in and underneath my brow bone and I'm going to also put this in my inner corner. And I'm just going to go ahead and curl my lashes. And I don't plan on wearing any like false lashes today. This is just kind of more of a minimal makeup look. It's definitely not minimal, but it's just something I would wear on like the weekends and stuff. And I'm just using the Lancome Monsieur Big. This is my favorite mascara. It's so nice. At the holiday times, I bought a value set. So I have this one and I also have another one. I have a backup. Oh my gosh, I feel so out of sorts. I normally do my eyebrows first and then I'll do my eye makeup, but that's okay. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this Rare Beauty um, like duo. Um, my husband actually got this for me as a gift. And I'm just gonna go in and lightly fill in my brows. Nothing too crazy. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and use the other side. It's got like a gel. Now I'm just going to go in to my face primer and just kind of let this sit on my skin for like a minute. This is the Natasha Denona Face Glow Primer. This primer is amazing. I love a dewy face primer. Oh, that's like way too much. We'll just spread it out. It's fine. It's just makeup. It's nothing that serious. That's what I say every time I make a makeup mistake. 
Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with one of my sponges and this is the Melg Makeup Sunshine Skin Tint. And I will have all the products um, listed in the down bar as and the shades as well. Mm. This is actually a pretty decent um, um, shade for me. It might be slightly light because I did just recently go on vacation to Florida and I got a little bit of a tan while I was down there. So it might just be a little bit light, but for the most part, this is actually a really good color for me. And we can definitely make it work. We'll just bronze up the face a little bit more. And I'm just gonna put a little bit more on and we'll just kind of bring this down my neck. I'm curious, um, do any of you live in a colder climate or an area where it's finally starting to warm up a little bit? I'm just so excited to see a little bit of sunshine again because I'm just so over the cold weather. Um, I'm gonna, I don't normally do this, but I'm feeling like doing it today. Um, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of concealer. I'm not a huge concealer girl. Um, I just don't have really dark circles, but I'm just gonna use like the corner of this, like the tip I meant to say, and we'll just go in and And now what I'm going to do is I'm just, this is a pretty good setting powder for underneath my eyes because it's a little light for me. And I'm just going to go in with this brush. It's this Wet n Wild brush from that Care Bears collection. And I'm just going to set my underneath my eyes with this powder. I am trying to pan this and I have made quite a bit of progress on it, but I still have quite a bit left. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and do my underneath of my eyes. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm feeling pretty basic today. I'm just going to go underneath my eyes with this pink shade just to bring a little bit of color underneath it. I was gonna go in with that like burgundy brown shade, but I kind of wanted to use my sparkly eyeliner like on top of it. So we're not gonna do that. And actually, no, we're not. We're just gonna leave it at that. I, I kind of like it that it's more subtle um, underneath my eyes. And we're just gonna very, very carefully use, there we go. That's good enough. I don't wanna risk getting mascara all over my face because it looks really nice right now, but it could go south very fast. So yeah, we're going to leave it at that and we are going to go in with this Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I've been using this all the time lately because I'm trying to pan it. I'm kind of at the point where I'm getting sick of using it, but I didn't come this far just to come this far, you know? You hear what I'm saying? And this is how I've been doing my bronzer lately. I've been like starting here and like kind of bringing it forward for a more subtle look. And I've really been liking how it's been looking. And then I'm just gonna do it all over underneath here. So my face can match my neck, hopefully. And 
I kind of wanted to try to use mostly Pat McGrath um, products today. So I pulled out some of my old favorites of Pat McGrath. And what I'm going to do is go in with this super pretty, like, bright pink shade. And I got this in the last Sephora sale. And this blush is called Love Struck. And I don't know if this is still available. I'm pretty sure it's not. But just go in with your favorite Pat McGrath blush or your favorite blush. I'm just looking. Here we go. We're going to go in with this. We're going to go in light because this blush is pigmented. It's just a really nice, like, bright berry color. It's never enough blush for me, if you know what I'm saying. Um, now we're going to go in and just kind of blend that out a little bit so we don't have any crazy harsh lines. And I have this... We're going to go in with highlighter next and we're just going to go into this shade in the palette, same palette. It's called Venus Nectar and oh my god, this is my favorite highlight in the entire world. I'm being a little dramatic, but I love this highlight. And I know that she sells this separately. I know her highlights and stuff are pretty expensive. So I would wait for a sale, but it is like life changing. Like, look how pretty that is. Oh, look how pretty that is. It's so pretty. Um, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a lip color and this is I only have two lip products from Pat McGrath, and this is a lipstick I got on sale. It's called Divine Romance. And I'm gonna go in with this Wet n Wild lip liner. I do have a lip liner from Pat McGrath, but this is like the same color and I'm really trying to pan it. And I think this lip liner will go with this look really nicely. Okay, I just kind of rough lined my lips and now I'm gonna go in and isn't this packaging just like so pretty? I love Pat McGrath's packaging. And what I'm going to do is go in and apply this to my lips. And here is the finished look. I just really like it. I think it's super pretty. And I think you can really tell like, I think the eyeshadow look goes with my shirt too. I like how the eyeshadow looks. I think it's super pretty. Um, but if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. It does help out my channel a lot here on YouTube. And I will see you guys in the next one. And here is the finished look. I really like it a lot. I, I like that it's kind of subtle, but yet dramatic at the same time. I don't know if that makes any sense at all. Um, but if you are not already subscribed to my channel, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I am going to be putting out more content. I'm hoping to get up at least two videos a week. And I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.